John Locke. John Locke was a British philosopher, Oxford scholar and medical researcher. His groundbreaking works underpin modern empiricism and political liberalism. Locke's philosophical and political ideas profoundly influenced the European Enlightenment and the formation of the United States Constitution. He aligned with the early modern scientific pioneers like Robert Boyle and Isaac Newton, contributing to the Royal Society. Locke's Political Philosophy Locke's political philosophy revolves around social contracts and toleration, especially in religious matters. His ideas found acceptance in England after the Glorious Revolution and in the United States after its Declaration of Independence in 1776. Locke's Theory of Mind Locke's theory of mind is pivotal in understanding modern notions of identity and self. His thoughts on the continuity of consciousness define the self. He introduced the concept of the mind as a blank slate or tabula rasa at birth. Literary Career and Philosophy Locke's An Essay Concerning Human Understanding, published in 1689, defended modern empiricism, addressing the limits of human knowledge. His association with Anthony Ashley Cooper led him from government roles to opposition activism. His famous work, The Second Treatise of Government, emphasized sovereignty in the people and the social contract. He advocated the separation of church and state in Letter Concerning Toleration. Locke staunchly opposed authoritarianism and championed reason over superstition. He sought to optimize individual and societal well-being through reason, natural law, and fulfilling humanity's divine purpose. Some of his key works are A Letter Concerning Toleration, An Essay Concerning Human Understanding, Essays on the Law of Nature, Some Thoughts Concerning Education, The Reasonableness of Christianity, Two Tracts on Government, Two Treatises of Government, and a third letter for toleration. An essay concerning human understanding. This seminal work critiques innate ideas and introduces Locke's theory of ideas. It distinguishes between simple and complex ideas, primary and secondary qualities of objects, and presents a psychological criterion for personal identity. The essay significantly influenced philosophers like David Hume and George Berkeley. Two treatises of government. Published anonymously, these treatises refute patriarchalism, especially Robert Filmer's Patriarcha in the first treatise. The second treatise outlines Locke's ideas on natural rights and contract theory, promoting a more civilized society. It contrasts Locke's earlier conservative stances and the fundamental constitutions of Carolina. John Locke's enduring legacy rests on his contributions to empiricism, political liberalism, and theories of mind and identity. His ideas continue to influence philosophy, politics, and the understanding of human nature. Sir William Temple Sir William Temple, first baronet, was a prominent English diplomat, statesman, and essayist of the 17th century. His diplomatic career began in 1665 under the patronage of Henry Bennett, later the Earl of Arlington, who was Charles II's Secretary of the State. In recognition of his service, Temple was granted a baronetcy in 1666. A significant diplomatic achievement during this period was his involvement in negotiating the Triple Alliance of 1668, which united England, the Dutch Republic, and Sweden. However, despite his diplomatic successes, tensions between England and the Dutch Republic led to a war declaration by England in 1672. Sir William Temple played a pivotal role in negotiating the peace treaty that ended the Dutch War in 1674. In 1677, he contributed to the arrangement of the marriage between Princess Mary, Charles II's niece, and William of Orange, who later became King William III of England. Sir so William Temple's political career took an interesting turn in 1679, when he briefly became an influential advisor to Charles II. During this period, he reorganized the Privy Council. Nevertheless, by 1681, Temple found himself at odds with Charles II's policies, leading to his retirement from active politics. Temple was known for his literary contributions as well. He wrote Observations upon the United Provinces in 1673, which modern scholars have praised for its empathetic portrayal of one country's people to another. However, the majority of his essays were penned after his retirement from politics. It was during his retirement that Sir William Temple produced a collection of essays, many of which were published posthumously thanks to the efforts of his secretary, Jonathan Swift. Swift who would become a renowned author himself, considered Temple's conversational and graceful writing style as a model for his own work. 
one of Temple's notable essays upon ancient and modern learning, elicited a response from Swift in his famous work, The Battle of the Books. In addition to his diplomatic and political contributions, Sir William Temple's literary legacy endures through his essays and their influence on later writers like Jonathan Swift.